Yes, family, you know. When I was young, I used to listen to Biggie Smalls. Call me evil or unbelievable. Bite my tongue for no one. Call me evil or unbelievable. We call our cowards like RJ Madi, that fake Atlantean that lives in Senegal. Him and his wife scamming my folks. You know what I mean? You think it, it, y'all think that's all sweet until I run up on y'all with my crew. You know what I mean? We're coming for all you cowards. All you cowards who want to play games, I want to take advantage of my business and my, my people and take advantage of them. I'm coming for y'all. RJ Madi, you and your fake Africa for Africans. Copying what we have right here is Africa for the Africans. You know what I mean? You know, your little bootleg slogan, your little cute little light-skinned little midget boy. I'm coming for you. I'm going to shut your punk ass down. You know what I mean? You know, you know one of my tour members told me about how you, you sold them some fake investments in your fake ass uh, Kabelong, uh, you know, uh, city that you're building, you know, because you saw me building Black Star Pan-African community and your punk ass want to copy. But the only difference is, family, we actually have land in Black Star Pan-African community, 15 and 60 acres. We actually took you there. We got people living there, people building energy there. So I'm telling people, hey, don't invest in these people unless they show you something tangible. And I'm talking about that, you know, that little cute little light-skinned midget RJ Madi in, in Senegal who think he's about you know, business and about black power. You mess with the wrong person, but I sat down there and did an interview with you in April 2021, and then you used that against me. And while, while we did doing that interview, you're licking your chops and seeing all of my investors and my business people. And you know I'm not trying to do anything in Senegal, so I guess you figure you just, you just route them your way. You know what I mean? And I already sent you a family of five people that you disrespect and I'll put them in a raggedy ass apartment and things like that. I'm talking about you, fool, RJ Madi. We got you, boy. We, I'm coming for you, boy. I already got my people in Senegal and Gambia looking for you. We're going to hunt you down like, the, you know, like, the, like, like, the, like, like scam hunters do. We're going to hunt you down like the criminal and the degenerate that you are. RJ Madi, I'm coming for you. This, is, this video is dedicated to your punk ass and I'm here in Ghana. And while I'm here in Ghana, I, I got the bad news. And that's why people like yourself don't have videos on YouTube because you're running for your life. You know, you know, they may have arrested you in Senegal, but trust me, when we finish doing with you, we're going to kick your punk ass into a ditch. You know what I mean? So family, what I'm talking about is real development. If he was really serious about what he's talking about, he would show you this. This is development. This is here at the Micklin Hotel. You know what I mean? They're not just talking about it. They're going to refurbish their whole hotel and they're building a nice uh, five floor apartment complex. And they're here doing some upgrades and things like that. So these are people I've been doing business with for a long time, you know, along with MJ Grant and other people here in East Ogon. So you know, we all always tell individuals that if you're trying to really get into investment and get into anything, deal with the people that have been around, deal with the people that have put the work in, deal with people that have current investment operation established. Don't deal with nothing that, you know, this boy RJ Madi got on paper talking about Africa for Africans and we're doing all of this and we're helping investors. And the thing of it is, family, this guy threw on a suit and tie. You don't ever really see me no suit and tie. I just wear my Africa for Africans t-shirt and my, my soccer jersey. Yes, we have suits and ties on. But, you know, at the same time, too, we're real people. So this little, this, this little boy, this little midget, big head, punk RJ Madi, literally out there, you know, scamming our folks selling them fake investment, don't own anything, and people have told me about him for years, but I was like, nah, man, he looked too professional. He looked too, you know, looked too cool, you know what I'm saying? It, it does look professional, it does look cool. But this is when uh, profiling is one thing and being about it is, is another thing. I'm not here ever with you on no cute little, nice little boy stuff. I'm a serious business person. We, you know, you see us do business conference all the time. You know, as a matter of fact, I got some footage I'm gonna show you on the business conference that we just did at the MJ Grand Hotel uh, a few days after we got here in Ghana and it's incredible. Uh, so I'm always telling you, if these people don't have anything tangible to show you, do not invest in them. Do not take their little jokes and things like that. That's why we specialize in Africa tourism so you can come to the country, you can see what's going on and you can just literally you know, process what we're talking about. Because if not, then people will just run games on you. And you know, I've had to get rid of a bunch of uh, my you know, staff members across, uh, you know, from, from, from Senegal to here in Ghana, because you know, I don't want people taking advantage of my brothers and sisters. We are all here trying to just enjoy Africa. We are all here with hopes and dreams of being investors and things like that. And last, we needed some of our own people from the African diaspora, from the Americas to do, do these things to us. 
You know, like I'm always telling people that, you know, even when we were building our Black Star Pan African Energy, I've had to fire fired attorneys, consultants, and people like that because some of our people don't have our best interests. You know, and I'm one person that, you know, I would never put myself in a situation where I would just literally just take people money and we're not about serious investment. You know, you know, it's you know we get, came too far in this business. You know, so if you pay for something for me, everyone has ever paid for a tour for me. You got a tour. You got bus, hotels, food, tour sites, tour guides, people to help you. And if you pay for land investment, you got your paperwork and you have access to building your you know building your home and building your investment. So for me personally, that's tangible. Now what R.J. Mahdi is doing is not tangible. You know, R.J. Mahdi is a fraud and he's a sick person. And I'm telling you, R.J. Mahdi, you little punk, you better watch out because I'm coming for you, homie. I'm coming for you. I'm gonna steamroll on you like an 18-wheeler. You know, you're gonna regret you ever robbed and shake down my tour members. You know what I'm saying? You know, my good brother called me from Tennessee and he's like, yo, man. You know, this, 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 this guy is playing games with me. I was like, you know, okay. I was like, yo, family, I got you. I'm on it. You know, that's what we do, family. We should, you know, we've been in this game for the longest than anyone else. We built this modern day 21st century repatriation movement. We're the realest that the world have ever seen in this black power business. You know what I mean? While people are playing around debating and talking mad stuff, we are here doing it. You know? And I'm telling people, I'm never going to let any of y'all destroy my movement. You know what I mean? So, you know, it's what it is. So anyone getting our way, I'm running you over. Be respectful to my brothers and sisters. Take care of them and look out for them. And if you don't, we're gonna have serious problems and you're gonna have to deal with Bomani, a real black power general in this revolution movement called Africa for the Africans. You know what I'm saying, family? I'm in, we're inspired by Marcus Garvey. Marcus Garvey was one of the, the truest and realest pan-African energy that ever existed. And we're gonna keep it real. We want our ancestors you know, from Marcus Garvey, Malcolm X, Kwame Nkrumah, and so on. We want them to be proud of us. And there's no way our ancestors will be proud of us if we're going to abuse our own people and take advantage of them, take advantage of their vulnerability. You know, so family, one of, uh, one of, you know, one of my good brothers uh, from the UNIA, um, uh, President General, always told me, he's like, Bomani, you know, a lot of people are going to talk mad stuff, but it's like, you know, family, you got to follow the works. He said, it's like, once you follow the works, you're going to always see who is true and who is real about this movement because a lot of people can easily speculate and act like they're down with black power and nation building and revolution but the only way you're going to find out is when they see the works So when you see the works look at what we have done family from 2006 to now from 2004 to now you now whether you're talking about the Africa for Africans brand or you're talking about revolutionary camp or you're talking about Bomani technology you know you talk about years that goes back to 2004, 5 and 6 you know, so we're gonna keep it real, family. And uh, this is a beautiful hotel, the Micklin Hotel. They're under construction. They're doing some things, but I've also encouraged them. You know, what I mean, and giving them feedback from you know, my tour members. Say, hey, let's uh, let's upgrade this build. Let's keep things strong so we can keep supporting you. So we're in East Lagon, and uh, this is Micklin Hotel. The last hotel that we was at was MJ Grand. So these are the two hotels that we do business with, uh, with our, from our tours to also extend his stay. And much love to both of my brothers. Uh, these are these are black brother, black owners here in Ghana, Ghanaian brothers that I got the highest level of respect for. I, I know both owners and we, we have a great relationship and uh, they've seen me come over the years and support their, their business and everything. And that's what it's about. So fam, let's keep it real, let's keep it strong and keep supporting black home business and keep on representing us being real to each other. And when we find out about these scam artists and these punks like RJ Mahdi and his fake Africa for Africans. Let's shut them down and let's put them back where they need to belong in, in the ditch. So family, the journey continues.